thing back here in the back. She's our lighting person. Um, and Eddie is watching. He's doing costumes. So that's just who they are. We're all just here. Um, <laughs> No, that's just he can make you pretty or not pretty. Uh, but, but yeah, um, so that's kind of who we are. And you know, if you forget, it's okay. I forget things. I'm awful with them. So I won't hold it against you. They might. But. <laughs> anyway, hi Kelly. Hi. You want to do your monologue? I do. All right, go for it. It's the king of Spain. He was sitting on his throne one day, and he felt a sudden itch up underneath his crown. Oh, he said. What is this? A flea? All oh, the courtiers said, squash it. And he said, oh no, <laughs> it's a royal flea. It has royal blood now. We cannot squash it. <laughs> so they got a little beautiful velvet bed and put, put the little flea on it. And it fed first on mice, and then cats, and then dogs, and then horses, and it got bigger and bigger and bigger, until it was so large that they had to put it in the stable. And the king of Spain was so proud of his flea that he rode it in parades and such. Well, one day he went out to to the barn to see his flea and the flea looked like this <laughs> <laughs> and he went oh my flea is dead oh what am i going to do i will miss it so much oh what am i going and then he had a plan he decided to make a guitar out of the flea so he used the body of the flea as the body of the guitar. And it, it had string, the guts were the strings. <laughs> and, and, and the legs were the, the, the whatever that is on top. <laughs> and he, he, he was sitting on his throne one day and he was playing the guitar and he said, I have a guitar. Oh, hear how it sings. With magical voices, I pluck the strings. Is not made of wood or ivory or metal, but something much finer, much finer and better. What is it made of? Tell me its name, and you shall marry a princess of Spain. Well, he had three daughters, and they were quite lovely. So obviously, lots of people came trying to guess what this was made of. Way up in the hills, there lived an old farmer. And the old farmer had 12 daughters and a wife, and they were very poor. He really, really, really needed a mule because he was having to do all the work by himself because the girls were kind of lazy. So one day he's sitting at the supper table and he's heard about this wonderful thing if he goes to Madrid, he would get not only princess, which he doesn't need, but he would get gold and jewels and a mule, which was the most important thing of all. And it's less important. What? A, you don't need a princess. You're married, you know. And he said, I don't just whatever. And so he set off down the road and he was walking along and all of a sudden, is that me or you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he saw a little tiny bug down there was a little beetle and it was lying on its back. And he, he turned it over and he said, Oh, look at you, you're so cute. Where are you going? And he said, I'm going to Madrid to see the King of Spain. And he said, Oh, well. He said, but I, it's a long way. Don't worry, I put you on my hat and I carry you there. He went on a little further. Oh my good, look at you. It was a grasshopper and he was like. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, I put you on my hat and take you. Are you going to Madrid? 
So he picked him up and he put him on his hat next to the beetle and then he walked a little further and there he almost stepped on it. Oh, you are the cutest thing, you little flea, you. And he picked it up and he said, are you going to my tree? I am. You can write on my hat with the other friends. And when he got there, there was a long line out of the door. And he got in line and they were standing there and he thought, I don't know what this thing is made of. I do not know, what am I going to do? I'm going to be so embarrassed and I'm not going to get my new. And the little beetle said, look, boy, I will go and find out what it is because I can just, you know, creep around and look at it up close. So the little beetle went and he ran around inside of it and he came back and he said, I don't know what it is, I'm so sorry. And you gave me such a nice ride. Oh, well, the grasshopper said, I'll go. And he hopped over there, and he hopped around inside and came back and said, I am so sorry. I do not know what it is. Oh, I feel I have failed you. And he said, oh, it's all right. I'll think of something. And the flea said, I'll go. So the flea went over, and he ran around a couple of times, and he came back and he said, he's a flea. <laughs> <laughs> and the farmer went, he's a flea. Mm -hmm. How do you get here? Don't question. Just listen. When you get up there, you say, he's a flea. <laughs> so he got to the front, and he, he bowed before the king and almost lost his hat in the process, and he said, he's a flea. And the king went, Oh, you are, you are now to marry my daughter. Well, the daughters were not at all interested in this little <laughs> man with the hat and the bugs on it. <laughs> so they one by one came up and offered him things like all their jewelry and pearls and gold coins. And, and he said, but I, I don't need a wife. I've got a wife. What I need is a mule. So they packed all those things on the mule and he put the beetle and the grasshopper back on his hat. And then he started back down the road. Now the flea decided to stay. He was just tired of traveling, I suppose. <laughs> and one day the king of Spain was sitting on the throne and he felt something. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, Oh, here's a flea. And all the courtiers said, Squash it. And he said, No, he's a royal flea. And that, you know what happened next. <laughs> Very good.